the tenth sign that shows that the person is losing their salvation is this. She thinks that the preaching is not for her, but is for others. Now, answer this question. When you read the Bible, the Holy Word, or you listen to the friendly messages of Bishop Macedo, every day, first thing in the morning, and I'm a witness to that, the first thing he does, when you participate in a meeting in the church or the meeting of assistance, when you watch the program Assistance in Focus and you hear the messages, the teachings, do you say this message for others and not for me? Or you say the message is for me independently of others? Or you're the type of person who says, nope, this is not for me, it's for others. This is the tenth sign to show that you are losing your salvation. That is if you have not already lost. I hope you haven't yet. But if you already have lost, act right now. Look at what the Bible says. Look at what God says in the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord. They are children. They believe in God, but they are disobedient, says the Lord who take counsel, but not of me. This person receives counsel from friends and family, but not from God, from people in general, from programs, but not from God, and who devises plans, but not of my spirit. You see, the plans, the counsels, the teachings of men, but not of the spirit of God, that they may add sin to sin. Which means every time when you hear messages and you hear the words, a direction that's given by God through the light of His Word, through His Word, using the bishop, the pastor, other assistants, you are devising plans which are not from the Word of God, from the Spirit of God. And you will suffer the consequences. Every time you hear the Word, but you say it's not for you, but for others, you are being rebellious. You are seeking counsel and advice from others and accept their opinions and their point of views and you identify with what is posted on social network in the media, but not the word of God. So you are running a risk of life, a spiritual life. The Lord Jesus in the Gospel of Luke, he concluded saying, when he spoke about the rich man who died and was taken to hell, he cried out saying, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Send Lazarus to dip his tip of his finger in the water and refresh my tongue. And Abraham said, there is no way that those who are here can go there and those who are there can come here. In other words, it means, it means that man, while he was here on earth, he heard the word of God, but he said, it's not for me. I'm already rich. I have fame. I have all the good things. This is for others. But the word of God is for everyone. He went to hell. He lost everything. And most importantly, his own salvation. So the tenth and the final sign of those who are losing their salvation, they think that the preaching is never for them, but for others. Do not make this mistake.